In the first reading today, we hear uh, we're in the middle of the Joseph cycle, and uh, here he's already been raised to uh, great power, and Pharaoh says, go to Joseph. Says to the people as they enter into this famine, go to Joseph. And we look and we see in this year of St. Joseph, Jesus is saying the same thing. He says to us, go to Joseph. Not because he doesn't say, he doesn't want us to go to him. Of course, he wants us to go to him. But Joseph will bring us to Jesus. You know, and sometimes we look at the different patron saints, you know, okay, I lose something, you go to St. Anthony, right? You have a lost cause, you go to St. Rita. You, you have, um, you want some help with uh, sports or whatever, you go to St. Sebastian. Well, Joseph is the universal patron. He is patron of everything. So there's nothing you can ask him that he won't be able to answer. We go to Joseph, and I think so often we have that mixed image in, in our mind of this, this old gray man who finally takes on this family, and the reality, you know, like Abraham. Uh, but when you think about it, an old man doesn't walk from Jerusalem to Egypt. An old man doesn't, uh, isn't in charge of protecting a, a young family. He is young and vibrant, and he is the one that was chosen by Almighty God to raise his son. So there's nothing we can't ask him. Let us turn to the Father of Jesus in this earth, he who adopted him as his own son, and who has adopted us as well and ask him for whatever help we need in growing closer to Jesus.